Let's show you how to extract data from a really simple website using the Grepser for Chrome extension. If you haven't installed it already, go to grepser.com forward slash chrome dash extension and you'll see an add to Chrome button here. Once installed, the Grepser icon will appear beside the address bar in your browser. Let's begin. Let's say we want to get data from an online shopping platform like Best Buy and the products we want to search are 4K TVs. So in the results page, as you can see, there are a couple of hundred items. To get started, just click the Grepser icon to initialize the extension. Let's tag our first field. This is the name of the item. We can also get the URL for each item from right here without having to re-tag the field. Let's save this as URL. Let's get the thumbnail image as well, saving it as image. We'll get the other information from the details page, so let's move on to the next phase. Click Next. Since this is just a demo, let's limit our extraction to 100 items. Does this page have PageNation? Yes, it has a Next link, so let's find and tag the Next button. Done. Check your fields to verify that everything is as you want them. Continue. Do you want to go to any of the following links to capture additional fields? If any further information you want for a product is in its individual details page, then you have to go one level deeper to collect those. In our case, yes, we're getting info from the details page, so we'll select the first option with the product name and continue. Now, you'll be taken to the details page. Wait for the extensions to load, then start tagging. Let's select the price, the model, the SKU, This is the rating. Is there any other field we want to get? Okay, this is the description. So I think we have all the data we need for now. The fields we've tagged on this page will be added to the same row as the product from the previous page. Now that the tagging is done, let's export. Check the fields once again. If you want to reorder anything, just drag and drop. I think we're good for now, so let's continue. Does this page require a login? For this particular example, no. But if it did, then you'd select Yes, and you'd be prompted to enter your login info. Continue. Now this is a preview of your data as JSON and CSV. These blank fields will be populated once the extraction has started in the app. Continue. Now if you don't have a project in the app, or if you want to create a new one, just type in a name. Or if you do, and want to add this to an existing project, just select it from the drop-down. I already have a project named Best Buy, so I'll use that for now. Same thing with the report. Just type in a name for a new one, or choose an existing report. I'll go ahead with the one I already have, 4K TV listings. Next, and start crawling. You'll now be directed to the app's interface, where in the Data Preview tab, you can see the data start to populate the data table in real time. In the Data Delivery tab, under Email, you can see the email you use to register. You can even add multiple email addresses if you wish. You can also specify the delivery options, the file format for your data, either Excel, CSV, XML, JSON, or YAML. You'll automatically receive an email with a download link to your data in your preferred format each time as soon as the extraction is complete. You can also set up the delivery in a way that the data is automatically synced to your preferred cloud storage option, Dropbox, Google Drive, Amazon S3, and so on. In the Download tab, you'll get the download link in your preferred file format once the extraction is complete and the file is exported. So it looks like our extraction is complete. As you can see, we've limited our extraction to 100 items, so we've got 100 records in our data table. If you take a look at the Download tab, you should see a link to your file. The data is being exported, so it'll appear in a moment. Let's refresh the page. There it is. Now you can simply click on the link to download your data. 
In case you have any issues to report or questions to ask, just head over to the Support tab below your project's name, type in your message, and hit the Post button. Our team will get back to you as soon as possible.